Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank the rest of the faculty for such spirited descriptions of their classes. So this class is all about country rock music. And I think it's a really important class because a lot of folks kind of know what it is, but not really sure. And hopefully after you take the eight sessions of this class, you'll have a better idea. Creating a new musical genre in the mid-60s. Uh, how two immensely popular genres of music, country music and rock and roll, merged to create a timeless style, uniquely American in every aspect. This class will cover the historically significant country rock movement which started in L.A. in 65 and spread across the country like wildfire, changing the musical landscape of popular music. We'll explore how these two roots-oriented genres, country and rock and roll, borrowed from each other and merged to create a new genre, which has since spawned many other subgenres, each with its own unique approach to country rock. In this course, we're going to look at several artists and their key albums, including... The Birds, The Buffalo Springfield, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, Neil Young, The Flying Burrito Brothers, Graham Parsons, Poco, The Eagles, of course, Linda Ronstadt and Emmy Lou Harris, John Prine, Steve Earle, and others, as well as trends in instruments, arrangements, and lyric writing that make up the songs. Because albums, rather than just singles, became the prevalent form of delivering music to the consumer and listener, we're going to look at several artists in their key albums. Week one, what is country rock? An in-depth look at the first country rockers, the lives and career of the legendary Everly brothers, Don and Phil. Week two, country becomes cool. How the seminal country rock of LA spread across the country. The birds and the Buffalo Springfield make their marks with folk rock, country rock, and even psychedelic rock. Week three, pickup trucks and pot. The redneck hippie prince of country rock. Graham Parsons joins the birds and helps them record the definitive country rock album, Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Week four, we continue with more Graham Parsons. He forms the Flying Burrito Brothers with Chris Hillman, who was in the birds. Then he goes off into a short-lived but very memorable and historic career as a solo artist and checks out at the young age of 26. Week five, the superstars move in. David Crosby, Steve Stills, and Graham Nash form their super group and later incorporate Neil Young, who is still performing and recording. Week six, the mid-70s bring the second wave of country rock, innovation and style. Poco, the new riders of the Purple Sage, Pure Prairie League, Rick Nelson, and others. Week seven, the two women who did the most to define this genre, Linda Ronstadt and Emmylou Harris. In this class, we look at these two incredibly versatile and talented singers, appreciating one artist, Linda, who ran the gamut from folk and country to rock, pop, standards, and beyond, and another, Emmy Lou, who's been the soul, conscience, and spirit of this genre for 45 years, both of whom have made their lasting impression on American music, and with a shout-out to Emmy Lou's longtime musical partner, Rodney Crowell. And what would be a country rock class without talking about possibly the greatest, most successful American band ever, the Boys of Summer, the incredible legacy of the Eagles, how four guys from all over the USA became America's most popular band ever. In this class, we're going to talk about guitars. We're going to talk a lot about singing and harmony and country music and folk and the original Nashville sound. We're going to talk about singing styles and how they became a hybrid of rock and country. We're going to talk about the bands, basically how they were rock bands. And of course, we'll talk about the songs and the songwriting and how it evolved and how it became more sophisticated. Uh, most of you know how my classes work. If you don't, you're going to find out they're really a lot of fun. And lastly, I just want to say that most of you who have taken my classes, some of you are taking my country music class now. We're right in the middle. We're halfway through the eight-week country music class. And this country rock class kind of piggybacks on top of that country music. So if you're enjoying the class I'm teaching now, you will really enjoy the country rock class. So hope to see you all there. Back to you, Susan.